Good morning, Facebook. Uh, happy Sunday to all of you. Hello to all my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ in Florida, where I lived for quite a while. Um, my, faith, uh, my family, um, church family at Faith Church in Allentown, um, which we haven't been able to see in person uh, in a while, um, as many of you are going through the same things. Um, and hello and happy Sunday to those of you who I have not yet had the pleasure of meeting. Um, today I wanted to kind of keep things a little bit simple. Um, was doing some of my morning devotionals. Um, but uh, let me just read literally from my prepared notes or follow along with that so I don't wind up repeating myself. But today's title, um, as could be seen on the opening intro screen and then also here um, in the right column of the uh, the screen. Pray, obey, love, repeat. It sort of sounds like an oral hygiene um, type approach of, you know, brush, blah, 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 rinse, repeat. Um, but, um, you know, I recently did a study based on some quotes uh, and biblical principles of late Rich Mull, Christian artist uh, Rich Mullen. Uh, it really is that simple. Um, and the premise was based on the simple Sunday school song of Jesus loves me, this I know, because the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves me. Um, and our acceptance of the fact that Jesus loves me and there is plenty of sound doctrine in the Bible to support that Jesus loves me. Um, now, it's, you know, sometimes, well, his love is unconditional, but his blessings, favor, and, and, and mercy, and sometimes are conditional. So, you know, I am careful when I am speaking with people that I make sure that whatever comes out of my mouth, I can back up with scripture. Um, so, you know, when I woke up this morning, um, had my morning cup of coffee with God, did my devotionals, um, I came across a phrase, of course, that being the title of today's message, pray, obey, love, and repeat. Um, and that appeared to be a popular slogan used on like t-shirts, mugs, other types of items that I would assume typically a Christian would purchase. Though I personally had never just, you know, come across it. Um, what led me to that image or slogan was some part of my studying this morning uh, was on Deuteronomy um, chapter 30 verses 2 and uh, 1 and 2. Um, which was the foundational scripture for the obey. Um, and that's how I wound up coming up with the, the image and decided to sort of minister on that this morning and kind of keep things a little bit short this morning, especially since we all have church to attend um, one way or another. Uh, and um, But still bring something to you that... Um, you know, had some substance to it. So, you know, for pray, the foundational scripture that they use in this slogan is James 5.16. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and let you look those up because that's part of the exercise today. Obey um, Deuteronomy 30-2-3. Um, um, and if you look at Reflections Stories, you'll see... Um, a story on Deuteronomy 30, um, 2 and 3 um, in there as well. Um, a couple, I think I might have done a couple on Deuteronomy to, um, you know, express and get some points across um, in regards to what was being said in that particular chapter, um, chapter 30. And then love, as you guessed it, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Um, though there's a lot to say, um, you know, in the Bible about love, um, 
And it kind of sounds funny, but only God knows how many times Jesus said love. God knows how many times. Yeah, God does know, but um, Jesus' whole ministry was about love, and really the Bible is a love story um, for his love for us. So, um, and I'll add one for repeat, even though I really couldn't find, you know, something that really specifically, um, and I'm sure it's in the Bible, I just didn't have enough time to really research that in, you know, in, in that kind of depth. But first, that's a, that's, no, 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 first, that's a low, that's, <laughs> oh God, at least I can laugh at myself. First Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18, which says rejoice always. So to me, I kind of take that as repeat. Um, pray continually. I take that as repeat and there's pray there. Give thanks in all circumstances um, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. But we also know, and you know, I'm stretching it a little bit here. We also know God's will in the context in which the surrounding verses um, covers love. Um, so that would cover love there. And in and of itself covers repeat by saying pray continually. Um, and by its very context in the Greek, it is actually a command um, which covers obey. So, um, you know, or obedience. So, therefore, that was what I chose to be for the scripture. Um, First, Thessalo Thess <laughs> First Thessalonians 5, 16, 18. I don't usually have a hard time saying that word. Um, so I was intrigued by the slogan because unlike many other Christian commodities, um, it had some backbone of doctrine behind, um, which if you have been following my last two studies, um, I've expressed the importance of sound doctrine in our lives as believers. Where we're getting fed from, um, we certainly need sound doctrine because error, um, giving place for the devil, um, looking at God from a wrong perspective, like a celestial Santa Claus, um, as Joyce Meyer would say, um, anything, um, messages that completely have no reference to or relevance to what the Bible was talking about, um, which I gave some examples on that. Um, where a pastor had used, um, I forget what scripture specifically by number, but in Genesis, um, where basically the, th the theme of it was that um, Eve, there would be blood between Eve and Satan. But out of that same sinful relationship that um, that paradigm or whatever that God was trying to describe would come the seed meaning Jesus through the generations um, and Jesus would crush and bruise Satan's heel and basically incapacitate him um, and make him powerless because Jesus would conquer death. Um, yet this pastor was acting like he was stomping on the devil and using that scripture, you know, to say that from last week's service, his foot was bruised from stomping on the devil. And he, you know, um, quoted that scripture it was completely out of context. Um, so, you know, I caution people again, even though that wasn't the point of today's message, um, sound doctrine to make sure that you are not just being fed by somebody that likes to hype things up and use scripture to support their agenda and their message, but uses 
their message and their gifts to be able to support and teach God's word and do it by following it verbatim in sound doctrine and also applying it in practical application in our lives so that we can leverage this doctrine and truly um, understand what it is that we believe. So yes, today's message is simple. Um, one, you have four scriptures uh, to lean on for the biblical truth. Uh, but as God requires, um, you know, us take part in our walk of faith. Um, you know, he has an us part and a him part. Uh, today, I challenge you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, to take those scriptures, dive into them further, one at a time. Doesn't have to be all today. Um, when you have time, find other verses and or chapters that build on them and start to build your foundation of doctrine that really sticks in you and grows in you to where at any moment's time that you are asked, you are able to give an account soundly as to what it is you believe in and why you believe in it. So in that way, we have daily intake and exposure of the word of God. We not only understand what and why we believe, but we are prepared to give an answer as the Bible tells us to, to others, anyone that asks, we should be able to give an answer and our answer should not be flimsy or diluted or distorted from what the Bible says. It should be in accordance with the Bible says and sound doctrine. Um, I'd encourage people who maybe haven't reached the point of fully understanding it to pause, slow down, take your time, Google what you're thinking in your words, and more than likely, the scripture that you're specifically looking for is going to come back and so that you don't error in conveying that message to someone, go ahead and read it. Um, nobody is expected to remember every single verse in the Bible. We remember the principles in our lives, but we should be able to very quickly go to the sound doctrine, uh, the exact word of God, to make sure that we are, in fact, you know, um, quoting it correctly. Um, we, we need it, you know, in addition to needing it to be prepared to answer questions for others, um, we need it to identify whether or not we are listening to someone or reading something that is false teaching. Um, Jesus warns immensely, as I spoke about, I think, in yesterday's um, study on false teachers, false prophets. Um, so you need that, that sound doctrine to be able to identify unsound doctrine and people who you need to shut off the tube on or click off the web on and, and stop listening to them and stop following them because they are leading you down a deceitful path and your Lord and Savior has, I mean, Jesus himself, um, if you don't want to trust me, trust his word, um, he tells you that they are there, they are real and beware. Um, and even understanding sound doctrine, um, you know, to be able to answer the own questions in our heads for our actions. So we even want to challenge our actions to ask the most important question. And that being um, is what I'm thinking, is what I'm doing, or what I'm about to do, what Jesus would do. And does it align with scripture? And if so, what scripture does it align with? And does it align with it perfectly? Or, you know, do we have to sort of distort the truth of the scripture in order to get it aligned? And of course, that would be error. So again, my friends, pray, obey, love, repeat.
dive into James 5.16, Deuteronomy 32.3, 1 Corinthians 13.4.7. Love reading that over and over again. Um, I have it in a frame um, in my china cabinet, which I don't have any china in there. I just have important uh, personal things, cards and pictures of my sponsorship children and things for my kids and things from other special people in my life in it um, just to show off. Um, to me, that's much more important than showing off China. Um, but uh, get into the word and really start to build that foundational scripture of sound or not, knowledge base of sound doctrine so that you are prepared to give an answer able to identify false teaching and false prophets and to be able to resist doing the wrong thing by making sure that what you are doing is what jesus would do so be blessed have a great day love you and i will see you tomorrow